Welcome to this QuickBooks 2020 tutorial for beginners on the difference between a sales receipt and an invoice. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. So in this video, I'm going to show you there's uh, generally, I mean, there's a couple ways you can record sales in QuickBooks, but the two most basic ones are going to be a sales receipt and an invoice. Okay. Now, the difference between the two, uh, just as a basic uh, understanding, is that an invoice is when you are sending this invoice to a customer and they're going to pay you later. And a sales receipt is if you are accepting payment immediately. So if somebody comes in, they buy something, uh, you, they, you get the money right then, you're going to do a sales receipt. And it's going to record your sales correctly in QuickBooks. Now, if they buy on credit and you're going to bill them and they're going to pay you later, that's when you're going to send an invoice. And that's what creates what's called an accounts receivable. All right. So let me show you the, the two here. So you can see here on the home screen, we've got invoices here. We've got create sales receipts here. And you can see here when I hover, it says bill your customer and receive the payment at the same time. Uh, or bill your customer and receive the payment later. Okay, so that's the main difference between the two. All right, so I'm going to show you here. So I'm going to pull up a sales receipt and you'll see here that it's uh, this is called a form in QuickBooks. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose uh, your customer and the job. So let's say this is XYZ company remodel showroom. This says the customer uh, has selected outstanding billable time or cost. Select these things. We're going to say no right now so we can just X out of here. You're going to choose a class. If you uh, use class tracking in QuickBooks, you're going to, of course, make sure the date's right. Uh, these sale numbers will go in sequential order. And then you're going to say, okay, what did we sell? We're going to say that we sold some blueprints. And we're going to say that we sold two sets of blueprints at $60 each. So it made it $120. And this is a non-taxable uh, item. And it's got uh, the total down here of $120, okay? So you can say over here that you received either cash, check, debit, credit, e-check, and then there's some other things here. We've got barter and gift card, all right? Now, we're going to say it was a check, and so we're going to put in our check number here, 54824, all right? So we received this check. We're going to say save and close. And we have recorded a sales receipt and we have accepted that check. All right. Now, the second one I want to show you here is the invoice. All right. So if we say we're going to create an invoice and we go up here, you'll notice that it's the exact same type of form. All right. It just says invoice up here instead of sales receipt. And there is no check number or payment method. And that's because we are billing this customer and we will get a payment later. All right. So again, we're going to go, we're going to say remodel showroom. Again, this pops up. We don't have any billable time that we want to put on there. For this example, we'll say class remodel. We've got the date. We've got the invoice number. All right. Uh, let's see. Net 30 are going to be our terms and the due date, which we'll calculate automatically based on this date of the invoice. All right. So again, if we go up here and we say, uh, let's say blueprints, and we say we have two, you'll see it does the exact same thing, $120. Okay, so you create this invoice, you send it to your customer, you can print later and mail it, you can email later, uh, you can do a number of things with this. All right, so we say save and close. Now, a couple things. Uh, what I want to show you is, uh, first of all, if I go to banking and make deposits, all right, we're going to see here that this $120 that we had a sales receipt for is in what's called undeposited funds. Now, I'm not going to go through in this video what that is, but basically it's showing that this is holding that $120. You have not taken it to the bank yet. So you see you've got the money there. All right, so that is from the sales receipt. That, so it records it as money received, and you're going to go take it to the bank and make a deposit. All right, so let me close this. Now, when you do an invoice, I'm going to show you a, uh, let's see, I'm going to show you a report here, and you'll see here XYZ Company Remodel Showroom. So this is the current accounts receivable, okay? And you'll see here the $120. So this is now what is owed to us. This is an accounts receivable. 
All right, so you can see the difference when you record a sales receipt, you're getting that money immediately. When you create an invoice, you are owed that money from your customer. All right, hopefully that made sense. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Uh, and also head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. We got the full training there. I walk you through step-by-step -step how to use QuickBooks. I look forward to seeing you over there.